Hi everyone, thank you for joining us today. In this video, we're going to be reacting to another comedy from Trevor Noah. This time is where he's talking about speaking Chinese and Japanese. So without any further ado, let's go. Let's see what it's all about. Horrible, whereas Japanese are strong. Japanese you speak from the chest, you know? A lot of the, the Americans are learning Chinese, I've, I've seen. You know, Chinese, I see people who say, you gotta learn Chinese. They're taking over, Chinese. Ni hao ma, xi xin ni, Chinese. It's, just, it's, it's too late, it's too late to learn Chinese, it's over. No, it's true, it's true, because it's, it's also one of the hardest languages in the world. I mean, how do you, how do you learn Chinese now? Just, you know, they've got over 10,000 characters in the alphabet, you know this? 10,000 <laughs> characters. That's, we've got 26 in English. And there's still people going, what comes after Q? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 26. This is, you know, 10,000 they've got. That's super smart. Although they must have the worst Sesame Street in the world. <laughs> I'm going to suck being a Muppet in that country. I can just see them on a Monday morning singing to the kids. See, pound, chung, pound, xi, chung, xi, chung, pound, chung, chung, pound, xi. Five years later, it's just horrible. Horrible. Japanese is easier. 3,000 characters in a stronger language. I mean, everything in Japanese is strong. Even the greeting. Power. Thank you. Domo. Arigato. Power. Yes, it's a great language. And say other things as well, like kujire, gambare, which means good luck, dolphin. <laughs> Granted, not very usable in everyday language, but uh, yeah, it works, I guess. You know, it works. I could also say other things like "huh, niwa 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 torigaita," which means "look, the chickens are running around." <laughs> you laugh, but I've used this successfully on many occasions. <laughs> By many occasions, I mean once. <laughs> I was in an airport standing at the baggage carousel. And this, uh, this Japanese guy came and he stood next to me. And we're standing there and I'm, I look at him and I've been waiting for years to speak Japanese. I was super excited. I was like, what? This guy's Japanese. <laughs> He's like, I can hear you. <laughs> I said, oh, sorry, I thought I was thinking. Um, <laughs> Are you Japanese? He's like, yes, I am a Japanese. Like, oh, oh, konnichiwa. He's like, oh, konnichiwa. Pleasure to meet you. I said, oh, domo arigato. I said, oh, arigato, must I not say? You speak very good Japanese. And I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> so I looked over and I went, kujire gambare. <laughs> I'm not a dolphin. <laughs> but a thank you for the good luck. I was like, I can't believe this works. I was like, oh, niwa, 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 torigaita. He was like, I don't see the chicken anywhere. You speak a very strange Japanese. Where did you run? I said, I run in all the different places, all over my life. Why do you speak English with a Japanese accent now? <laughs> I don't know. I get carried away. You freaking me out. I'm freaking out too. You guys have been so much fun, man. Thanks for hanging. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm freaking out, too. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> that was funny, actually. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I think I remember talking about the beauty of communication and how 
being able to communicate in someone's language, meeting them on their level in a place where they understand you better because not everybody speaks English. Everybody has their different tribes, different um, community, different areas. And sometimes being able to be, to demonstrate that you can, you can and are willing to be part of that tribe, putting in the work and the efforts to show that person that you care goes a long way to really building strong bonds and relationship and most importantly trust because I feel like that's the thing that's missing a lot in our community in our community these days people feeling as though that there are not a lot of people that they can trust and when you're engaging with somebody you're engaging with them suspiciously if that is your stance it makes it makes communication even more difficult it makes it difficult in the sense that you over analyze certain things certain words certain intentions of people not that there are not instances where you need to do that. There are, and people will show you when you will show their true colors when it is time that you need to do that. And you need to be extremely careful when you are engaging with people. But seeing that somebody has put in so much effort to un learn your language, that automatically kind of makes you feel like, oh, this person is somebody that you can and will be willing to engage with, we, you, regardless of the color, the race, whatever it is the person is from. The first thing that you instantly connect with that person is that language. And then you're able to kind of talk about basic things like the weather, food, uh, the, the, the climate in, 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 the out, in, in, in that part of the world before you kind of extend it to other part of the world. I say that because I feel like today, in the climate that we're in, there is a lot of resistance and there is a lot of demand for people to speak English. Not everybody can speak English. And yes, it's a widely used language. We can do better by trying to meet people where they are. If we are truly devoted to helping people which should be our primary objective because we've only got one life and what do you want to be known for when tomorrow you're not here what do you want your kids to remember you for is it the person that only thought about themselves? Because I feel like we can be selfish. We can be selfish in the sense that we just want people to communicate to us and we don't care if they can or cannot. And if we, they cannot, it's a case of, all right, you don't speak English, see you later. Rather than, okay, how can we best kind of engage? But another thing I think is quite funny as well is the fact that when you start trying to communicate with someone, you feel the need to use the accent <laughs> whilst you're using English. 
<laughs> I think that's quite funny. It's it happens in a lot of places. I've, there's been um, times where you're speaking different um, African dialects, and people feel the need to use specific accents. <laughs> uh, thinking that by using that accent all of a sudden the person is going to understand the English you're speaking it's still, it doesn't work <laughs> you still need to try and understand and speak that language to be able to communicate but no it, <laughs> that was funny <laughs> it's, it's, he's an in, intelligent young man and I, and I find the ones that, that I have seen of him quite quite funny quite um, thought-provoking, which is absolutely amazing. <laughs> All right. Let's hear your thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, this was a reaction that was requested, so I hope I've been able to do it justice. If, um, if I have, please leave it in the comment section below. If I haven't, please also leave it in the comment section below so I can understand where I need to try and improve. Until next time, you guys, make sure that you like, subscribe, and join our community, which is growing. And I really do appreciate you guys for it. It's been Kings. Peace. Bye for now.